Hey there, I'm David from DoD Media. Today I'm going to show you how to reshape a mask in After Effects. Sometimes you would draw a mask and you'd, you wouldn't be happy with where one of the points is or you wish you'd made it slightly bigger or smaller or you wish you'd rotated it slightly and dragging each individual point to do that is a bit of a pain. So I'm going to show you a way to do it like you would in Photoshop if you were to resize a layer with Command or Control T. And in fact it's a very similar process. So let's have a look. All right, so let's create a new solid. I've just made a composition, which is a basic 1080p, uh, 24 frames a second uh, composition with a black background for 30 seconds. So let's make this solid and let's hit OK. And then let's come over here to this rounded rectangle. And straight off the bat, we're going to create a mask for this. So if you click without moving, hold Command, or shift, actually it doesn't matter if you move, as long as you hold command or shift before you let go. Uh, and then drag this up like that, and that way it'll make a perfect square, but with beveled edges, because it's the beveled tool, or the rounded tool. Uh, okay, and that's our mask. Now, what can we do to this? See, conventionally you would uh, either hit mask path there to add a keyframe, and then uh, further on you'd say okay well I want the mask path to be um, over there and that way that mask itself would move without the object moving so that's that's the idea of the mask is to be able to move stuff around it's to be able to mask out areas that you don't want and it's really handy for special effects to be able to move those masks and to be able to reshape the masks but reshaping a mask can be a pain in the ass. It can be a massive pain in the ass. For example, let's say that I want to have this square turn into more of a rectangle. Okay, well, how can I do that? I can go into the mask points, select all the mask points, and then say, okay, well, I'm going to drag those down to there, so it's a rectangle, and I'm going to select mask, I'm going to select the whole mask by clicking mask path there. Okay, I'm going to deselect that frame, keyframe, so I don't want it to edit that one. I'm going to have it come up there. And that way, that mask turns into a rectangle. But that took ages, and it was kind of shit, and it's not centered, and I had to reshape, like remove it and stuff, and it it's just a pain in the ass. So, what you can do for something like that, which is a quick fix, is do what you do in Photoshop, which is Control or Command T. And now if you do Control or Command T, or if you come up to Layer, Mask and Shape Path, and Free Transform Points, uh, then suddenly you get this bounding box like you get in Photoshop. And with this, what you can do is say, right, well, I want to rotate it, say, you know, that much, and then uh, hold command and shift again and it's going to reshape the size of it and you can say actually I also want this to become a square or a rectangle and now if you hold command just command this time not shift um, you can reshape it as a rectangle or you could even reshape it as a very thin bar there you go and now all of those points are going to rotate at the same time you don't have to go through and select each point, you don't have to go and move each point because to rotate a mask it's it's a pain if you're trying to move each point because it'll never be exact. So that's a nice easy way to do that. Okay, and then you could say well actually now I want it to turn into a circle actually by this point. Uh, let's say 10 seconds. Hit a keyframe there and then um, let's just create a duplicate of this there for now. Uh, let's go back here. Okay, let's delete this mask and let's just draw another mask on it uh, and hold down command and shift again to make a nice circle like that. Okay, now uh, in path click the keyframe there. Whoop. Click the keyframe so you have this keyframe on in the composition that you can copy. That's very important. Copy that keyframe and then you can get rid of that there, that's fine. 
Okay, and then here, just paste that keyframe. And there you go. Now, that's looking a bit funky. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I think it's probably because, yeah, the points are crossing over. And now, it could be that actually if we reshape this one, um, the points wouldn't cross over quite as badly. Yeah, so there we go. It's a bit better. And now you can think, well, actually, you know what? I, I don't like the size of that circle. I want it to be a smaller circle. So again, you can just reshape that keyframe, and there you go. It goes from a bar to a circle. Okay. That's a very easy way to shift around with masks, transform masks, and reshape them, rotate them. It's, it's especially handy for rotating a mask without changing its shape or without damaging its perfect shape. Uh, by you, know, you would do this by dragging points individually and it never works. So this is a good way for you to do it and save time. Thank you for watching.